this is how these known places we are looking before the governor charles soludo's administration came in and painted them and this is how they are now after painting them there are purpose of uh, painting such places which may include enhanced visibility and safety aesthetic appeals and so on though there are challenges that accompany painted places like this which may include constant repenting on the other hand i don't know if you have taken your time to listen to the anthem of uh, anambra state in case if you have not just try to do that with all our hearts we pray and ask god bless anambra god bless yes you are sir can you give me a little of your time let's go to our foundation and see where we are coming from so then in this video i'm going to present two discussions one is about painting the flyovers and barriers and two is about the anambra state and term i'm going to run through all these two uh, presentations and uh, try as much as possible to make it brief and please don't forget to learn one or two things from this presentation thank you let's proceed so now we are going to start with the painting of flyovers and barriers you know we say that uh, the painting of flyovers and barriers on highways is a beneficial and multifaceted idea and it's not just an idea it comes with uh, some advantages and i'm going to run through some of these few advantages so that we can understand what we are talking about one is that uh, it enhances visibility and safety so like we know that bright and distinct colors on flyovers and barriers significantly improves visibility especially during challenging weather conditions or at night this contributes to enhance safety for drivers by ensuring these structures are easily identifiable so like i said i will be try as much as possible to do these presentations very fast then the second one is about aesthetic appeal well designed and aesthetically pleasing paintwork can transform flyovers and barriers into visual landmarks enhancing the overall appearance of the highways and creating a positive impression on commuters then uh, we are not leaving cultural expressions and uh, identity out painting flyovers with colors or design that reflects local culture as you can see from the ones we are seeing in the video or regional identity can instill a sense of pride and belongings among residents it becomes a unique representation of the community's character fourthly we talk about wayfinding and navigation color coded or uniquely painted flyovers can serve as a wayfinding tools for motorists adding navigations and making it easier to follow designated routes or find specific exits so having said that we talk about the next which is artistic expressions embracing public art on flyovers can turn these structures into canvas for creative expressions murals sculptures or other artistic elements can add cultural richness to the highways landscape so next we talk about branding opportunities some regions use painted flyovers and barriers as opportunities for branding or promoting local events 
So this uh, creates a dynamic and uh, engaging environment that reflects the community's vibrancy. So next is uh, reduce vandalism. Regularly painting flyovers and barriers with anti-graffiti coatings can discourage vandalism and make it easier to clean off any unwanted graffiti. This helps maintain a clean and well-maintained appearance. The anti-graffiti paint is just a very special paint coating. So having uh, tabled out uh, these uh, advantages of uh, you know, painting these places, which uh, Professor Charles Soludo, the governor of Anambra State, has done, um, I still wish to add that such paintings, you know, has its own challenges, like, uh, you know, uh, you need to repaint them after some time. So now, just to wrap it up, painting flyovers and barriers on highways is a practical and creative approach that can enhance safety, aesthetics, and community identity. It transforms these structures from mere functional elements into integral components of a visually appealing and culturally rich highway environment. Yes, uh, with that, we have uh, concluded on painting. Like I said, we have two items to show you guys and uh, you know discuss with you. Then the second aspect is the Anambra Anthem. Well, uh, these are some little things that uh, people or uh, Anambrarians may neglect some, not everybody. But uh, however, I thought it wise to, you know, look into it a little bit and uh, see what the um, explanations lying within these uh, anthems. Yes, uh, for the benefit of doubt, uh, let me play this uh, Anambra State anthem once again so we can hear the weddings and, uh, you know, after we we'll follow it and uh, do some explanations behind it. Thank you. We follow our hearts We pray and ask God bless Anambra God bless the shining light That we pray We're the only ones To make her brighter The only ones To make her better The only ones to make an impression With our sweat and blood Every breath of our lives With trust in God We will lift our homeland high We'll be living togetherness We'll build a land of progress Lift the spirit of Anambra Lift the spirit of Anambra Lift the spirit of Anambra States we love Yes viewers, uh, you are welcome back from that uh, Anambra anthem. I must tell you that um, that anthem is very powerful and it has uh, a spirit within it. I feel some shiverings and there's uh, goose pimples, you know, uh, within me. So I don't know if you have the same feelings. You know, it's just like uh, what we are doing here, being committed and uh, that we want to see the progress of an Umbra state. And another thing is, if you have uh, listened and uh, understand the weddings of that anthem you must surely feel something within you 
but however let's go into the explanations of uh, these weddings of the national anthem you know anambra state is known for the light of the nations anambra remains the light of the nation from the past events coming out from anambra state yes uh, the provided lyrics that you've just heard convey a sense of unity pride and commitment to the well-being and progress of anambra state in nigeria so let's uh, break down the key elements of that uh, anthem number one the key element there is a uh, prayer and blessing the lyrics begin with a prayer expressing a heartfelt desire for god's blessing upon anambra states this reflects a sense of uh, humility and the uh, recognition of the importance of divine guidance in the prosperity of anambra states having said that we talk about the next key elements in that uh, anthem which is a uh, shining light anambra is referred to as a shining light symbolizing optimism positivity and the potential for greatness the lyrics suggest a collective responsibility to enhance and brighten this light the next key element of that uh, lyrics is commitment to improvement the lyrics emphasize the collective responsibility of the people of anambra to contribute to the improvement and betterment of their states gentlemen and ladies i want to congratulate you this is what we are doing on younger life channel every day this is exactly you know we are being patriotic uh, members of Anambra State, so that is exactly what we have been doing. So I say kudos to all of us here in this channel and uh, the people that are yet to join this channel. Please, if you have not subscribed to Younger Life channel, click on the subscription button, notification bell, like this video, and don't forget to share this video. We need more people to bring their, you know wealth of experience and uh, observations in the project of Anambra State. That's what we want. So share this video, let it get to other people. Thank you. Then let's proceed. The mention of being the only ones to make her shine underscores the unique role and the agency of the residents in shaping the destiny of Anambra. So another key aspect of that uh, lyrics is the uh, sacrifice and uh, dedication. The reference to sweat and blood and every breath of our lives conveys a strong commitment and willingness to sacrifice for the development of Anambra. So this uh, dedication is not just a casual effort but a profound lifelong commitment. The next element in that lyrics is uh, trust in God. The lyrics highlight the importance of trust in God as a guiding principle in the efforts to uplift Anambra. This religious references reinforces the idea of divine support in the collective journey towards progress. Then next we talk about togetherness and unity in the lyrics belief in togetherness is a recurring theme emphasizing the strength that comes from unity the commitment to building a land of progress is grounded in the understanding that collective efforts 
are crucial for the state's advancement. So next is the spirit of Anambra. The repetition of lift the spirit of Anambra is a call to inspire and elevate the collective morale and the enthusiasm for progress. It serves as a rallying cry for unity and positive actions. And lastly, we talk about love for the state. The closing line, state we love, encapsulates the deep affection and attachment the residents have for Anambra. It reinforces the emotional connections and pride in our homeland. Overall, overall, these lyrics encapsulate a message of hope, dedication, and unity among the people of Anambra State, expressing their collective aspirations for a brighter and more prosperous future. Yes, sir, but before we round it up, let me just give a very short uh, explanation of the uh, purpose of an anthem. The purpose of an anthem in a state like Anambra or any other state is to serve as a unifying and symbolic representation of the shared values, identity and aspirations of the people. So with this, we've come to the end of this discussion. Until I come your way next time, I say bye.